So let's use Excel to help determine the closest Super Bowl games. And of course, it all depends on how you define it. But first of all, uh, let's go to this site, Pro Football Reference, and this is where I got the data from. Uh, as you see over here, uh, you, you scroll down a ways, and there's a whole bunch of neat information in here. But this is what I use, the box score, uh, play by play. So you can export it to Excel, and then uh, you can sort of format it and get the different games and uh, you do your formulas. So let's go back to Excel now and basically the first thing I did was this. Here's all the original data right in here and then I add all these formulas. These formulas over here basically are sort of printing a row or displaying a row every time there's a change in the score of the game. So here you know there's a two-point difference and then someone over here there's someone they score a field goal so now it's up to five. So this next sheet is I'm simply taking out all of that data. I'm taking all of this data here and removing the blanks. Okay, and then the next sheet, this is where I do all the math. Um, basically, I take all those data points and I sort of bin them into the time. Here's the time of the game, zero when it starts, and then every 30 seconds I'm getting like a, a snapshot of what the difference in the score was. It doesn't matter who's winning, but just the difference in the score. So over here, that 1991 game with the Bills and the Giants, it is one of the closest, but according to this way of doing it, which is just my personal way, but it's not the closest game. The closest game was actually 1989, which was uh, San Francisco against the Cincinnati Bengals. So, close score, how do I get this? Basically, all I'm doing is adding up all the differences throughout the game, and then to make the number a little bit more readable, I divide by 100. Um, now, largest point difference, that's interesting to see, uh, which is, you know, four is the largest point difference for this particular game, but it actually, the score is not as small as this one here, 1 1.8, so we can get into that later. And then this is interesting as well, average point difference, but I decided to go with the close score, which, as I said, is just taking all those differences and adding them all up. So now let's go over to uh, the percent rank. So here, this is simply in order of last year's game at the top and going backwards as, as we go down. And uh, here's my close score. Here's the final score point difference, which doesn't necessarily, uh, you know, it's, they, they do correlate fairly well. But um, here we see that 1991 game, one point difference. Really, this is the closest game. It has the most exciting finish. There's a few more games that are really exciting at the end. But... Um, interesting let's go to the next sheet now so now I've got it ranked according to my you know my close score I think I should alter this to give bonus points for a very exciting finish but anyways um, 1.8 and this game was really really close throughout the whole game no one was ever winning by like you know 10 points or anything more like that um, the largest point difference was seven with one touchdown and that was only for, I don't know, one minute. So most of the game it was either a zero point difference or a three point difference. Um, now, why is this game in here? Uh, the Steelers and the Rams. Well, it only got, the final score, the difference was 12, but that was only at the very end of the game that it got a little bit out of hand. For most of the game, it was a very, very close game. So we'll go to this next sheet. And now in these two drop downs, you can pick the two games you want to compare. You see the data, um, you can sort of compare as you scroll down. So if we scroll down here, you'll see throughout the game that uh, there's a point right about here. This is kind of makes, this makes a difference when it's a seven point difference, one touchdown. And then we go a little bit further down, then there's a nine point difference. So right in there, that, and that's quite a, a ways. Uh, and the other game, it's pretty much three points or zero points the whole entire game. Uh, so let's go to our final thing here, the chart. So on the chart, you sort of see it plotted out. This is the beginning of the game. This is the end of the game. Uh, this is a zero point difference, and this is a 10 point difference. So let's look at the uh, the Giants and the Bills. It's zero points, three for a little bit, back to zero, up to seven, and then nine. And that's that's quite a ways there, where it's almost getting out of hand, but then Buffalo comes back. It's two points, then it's five, two, and then, of course, that exciting finish a one-point difference and they missed that field goal and the Giants win. So if we look at the, uh, the 49ers and the Bengals, the final score difference was bigger, it was four, but you look at the blue line here, you can't, it, this, it's zero here. Zero all the way along, up to three for quite a while, back down to zero, to three, 
then it gets up to seven but just for a little bit of time back to zero and then at the very end of the game it becomes a three-point difference and then a four-point difference so really I mean there's so many different ways to look at this stuff uh, and you can compare these games of course you know why this game I don't I'm not sure if I mentioned it but uh, it was pretty close for most of the game and then at the very end uh, a late stealer touchdown it makes it look not as close but extremely close for most of the game so um, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, enjoy the Super Bowl